Hi, this is Mr. West, and you're watching a walkthrough video for Circle Times Tables 1, 10, 11, and 12. This is Sheet 3. I'm going to course this is from MassSalamanders.com. There'll be a link in the description below. Make sure to check out Mass Salamanders for tons of great resources if you don't know about that website already. Now, let's get into this. This is Sheet 3. What I like about this one is instead of going in order 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, this one mixes it, mixes it up. So it goes 1, 4, 10. Um, uh, so it makes it a little bit more difficult. Now, for one, it's going to be the identity property of multiplication. So anything times one is just itself. So this one's pretty straightforward. We're just going to write in all these answers right away because just times one is itself. Okay. So moving on to some tougher ones, let me change to green. We have times 10. Now, this one's going to be very similar to times one. Okay. The only difference is we're going to add a zero on the end. Uh, at the end of the problem, okay? At the end of the, the number. So we have 90 here for this guy, 60, 120, because there was already a zero, we added a second, second one. So we have 20, 50, again, 11, but then we just write a zero, 80, 30, 120, 40, and 70. So pretty straightforward there. Moving on to this one, okay? These numbers are fairly straightforward. So one, 10, and 11, all pretty straightforward, and I'll show you why. Okay, so times 11, it's kind of like times one. So six times one is just six, but then we have to have another unit. We have to add on 60, essentially. One plus uh, 10 is 11. So if we multiply by one, we get itself. We multiply by 10, like for example, six. If we multiply six times one, we get six. Six times 10 is 60. We just get the same number twice for the digits. Essentially, that's what you're doing. So if we multiply six, we get 66. Multiply by nine, we get 99. 77, okay? You see the pattern? It's pretty straightforward. We're gonna skip 12 for now. We get 33, 88, okay? We're gonna skip 11, uh, 55, 22, okay, and you see the pattern. Now, when you get to 10, that's when things change a little bit. So 11 times 10, uh, it's gonna follow the times 10 rule. So we write 11 and then just add the zero at the end. If we multiply 11, this is where it, it kind of breaks the pattern. We get 121. And then for the last one, we get 132 times 12, okay? So a little bit tougher. These are uh, get ex increasingly difficult as you work your way down the page. So now we're on to our last one with this 12. And we can start anywhere. It starts, I guess, right here. So we do 12 times 4. And you're just going to have to probably memorize these. I don't know of a better way to understand these problems. We get 12 times 10, 120. That one you should know. Uh, 108 for 9. Then we get uh, 72. 24. This one is 84. And one of the things you'll know is if you have 70 uh, times 6, both the tens digit and the ones digit are going to increase. Okay. So if you have 72 for um, times 6, you know that it's got the seven's got to go up to eight and the two has got to go up also. Okay. So that's something to keep in mind. We did this one on the other side, 132. 12 times 5 is 60. A way to think about that is uh, there's 60 seconds on the clock and, you know, 12, there's 12 uh, second increments. You could have five of them. Uh, 12 times 8, we have 96. Then we have 36. And then this one is 144. I think that's the easiest uh, of the 12 to the big 12s to memorize is 12 times 12 is 144. So that's all there is for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to check out more Mass Salamander video uh, walkthroughs on my channel. There'll be a playlist in the description below, and I look forward to seeing you next time right here on West Explains Best.